Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, GBS this blog. I welcome you all to my channel wherever you're watching me from. Today I bring you this from the Olu of Worry and I say congratulations to the Olu of Worry in the 21st century. The ruler of the Worry Kingdom was at the coronation today, August 21st, 2021. So I'll be saying a bit about it. The coronation. The coronation was held on Saturday in the ancient city of Wari in Delta State, with many traditional rulers and particularly leaders in attendance. And the, if you don't forget to watch this video to the end, and he made some statements, and I be the the throne is ordained from God, and God is in charge of everything that is going to be happening in Delta State now. So I say congratulations, and he was born April second, nineteen eighty four, to the to the then Prince Godwin Tori Shedu Emuko. Sorry for the pronunciation. Who later became the twentieth Olu of Wari, Ogiame Atuwashe Tu, and Gladys, that's the wife, and Gladys Emiko in Wari. The new monarchy is a descendant of Olu Akin Bedua. So watch this and stay blessed. For, don't forget to like, Over share, and, and subscribe. Up and recounted his ordeal. In a reaction, a curse was placed on the land by both of them. It is not recorded that Olua Rejua II reversed the curse over the land. Neither is it recorded that Oba Akenzua II did the same. Most probably, the issue was never revisited. As a firm believer, in the intricate interconnectedness between the spiritual and the manifestation in the physical, it is our firm belief that the matter needs to be addressed. Today, in our capacity as Olu, we hereby avow. As the spiritual, cultural, political and traditional ruler of this land. I, Ogiame Atuashe III, the 21st Olu of Wari, the first son of Olu Atuashe II, the grandson and direct descendant of Olu Erejua II, who was offended on this throne, I hereby reverse the curse placed over this land. In its place, I release forgiveness and healing to the federal government of Nigeria, whose might was used to propagate that offense. And I decree unprecedented and uncommon peace, prosperity, progress, development upon this land I bring down the government of heaven onto this land and I direct it to flow as a force that can neither be sabotaged slowed nor stopped it goes out as a strong ripple effect emanating from this kingdom to the rest of the Niger Delta to the rest of the Nigerian nation and even the African continent Africa has always been shaped as a gun with Nigeria as its trigger. Today, that gun has been fired and full restoration comes out of the barrel. This land begins to yield, yield its riches to us. All that has been hidden hitherto comes to the surface and the world shall marvel as to how we have defied projected economic trends. And this time around, we shall be the ones to chart the course of our own destiny. And now, as the Shakiri is restored to its original identity, 
as one of blessing we decree because Ishakiri is blessed Nigeria is blessed because Ishakiri is blessed Africa is blessed now that the foundation has been addressed it's time to put out a clarion call we therefore call upon and welcome back all sons and daughters of Iwere Kingdom that are dispersed in the diaspora in Nigeria the rest of Africa and all over the world all sons and daughters of Iwere Kingdom who identify as Ishakiri by your father your mother, your grandfather, your grandmother. We welcome you all. Come with your capacity, your expertise, your networks, your ideas and resources to join us in repositioning this kingdom. We also invite our well-wishers and admirers who count it all joy to be identified and associated with us either by marriage business ties or residence we extend specially towards our neighbors our Ijo, Urobo and Ilaje neighbors a hand of invitation to peace and development as it is not our desire to prosper in isolation we desire that our neighbors prosper also we recognize that the peace and prosperity is a shared one built on righteousness and justice which is the motto of this our reign and the foundation upon which God's throne is built. At this point we make bold to say that our emergence is not simply the filling of a role we will be redefining the essence of the throne of the old law of worry. While we have every intention to lead as led by the Lord himself, we implore all of us to work together and renew our minds and our way of thinking so that nothing, especially internally, hinders us from getting to our desired glorious destination. We should be ready to let go of the old ways that have not encouraged us to advance and not allow sentiments to keep us bound. To launch this new renaissance today, you would have noticed that you would have noticed the crests that have been released. We have taken time, based on the information available, to rebrand our forebears in such a way that they define their own unique identity, reign, and destiny. As a people so proud of their royal heritage, it is our expectation that in these 20 crests, we, we will be able to further add to the pride and richness of our historical and cultural identity. At this juncture, I want to speak directly to the youths of not just the Iwere Kingdom, but the entire Niger Delta. We have heard the narrative several times as to how the Niger Delta is, in term, is blessed in terms of resources. The truth, however, we must look beyond oil and gas and channel our energy in the right direction towards endeavors that will result in added value across the board. What we have is our culture and our identity and we must use this as an instrument to influence the mind of our youth for their own development in ways that are completely devoid of partisan politics. We will look to honor our women. We will encourage them, build them up, and support them in realizing their inestimable potentials. And as we do this, we will also see the multiplier effect in the collective development of our people. We will ensure that our women, both old and young, are honored and respected, not only by word, but in actual cultural practice. We will look to actively seek the opinion and counsel of our women and opportunities that avail themselves to the Shekiri nation will be used to empower our women 
to enable them to contribute their substance to the growth and development of Ishakiri nation. So I say to our women today, you will no longer be invisible. I want to begin by formally honoring the two most important women in my life today. Interestingly enough, as God has ordained, one is a beautiful young lady of Edo heritage, and the other is a gracious woman of Yoruba heritage. One addresses the past, while the other addresses the present as well as the future. But as we have come to understand, time is a river. Things are intertwined, just like the complicated fabric that is the Ishekiri nation. By the special grace of God, I am the first Olu of Ori in well over two centuries whose mother is alive and well to witness him sit on the throne. In the same time span, even longer, I am the first eldest son of Anolu to ascend the throne. None of these are taken for granted. It is the perfect will and purpose of the Almighty God to make it so. Where we have unofficially addressed the mother of the Olu as Iolu, simply because she happened to be his mother. I hereby officially and formally bestow the honor on my mother. You shall no longer be referred to as Olori Atuwashe II, but Iolu Atuwashe III. And blessed are you among mothers in the earth. Inevitably, in addressing the present and future, we cannot but consider where we are coming from. Since the arrival of Prince Ginoa from Benin, it is not on record that any Olu has married a Benin woman, nor has any Olu been on record to have been born of a Benin woman. I distinguish between Benin and Edo for obvious reasons. Yet again, I stand before you as the first Olu in five centuries to be married to a Benin woman. In many ways, it's as though today this monarchy has come full circle. And on this note, let me share a personal story of my recently departed father-in-law, Captain Idao Saokumbo. He was witness to a prophetic word and he himself, unbeknownst to him, played the role of a prophet. Raised by his grandmother in his much younger years, she would say out loud after a long, tedious day, the suffering is too much. In my next life, I will come back and be inside the palace. On the day we paid the bride price in Benin, my father-in-law said to me as he finally placed his daughter into my hands, I named her Aivere Winoya. <laughs> Roughly translated, you don't abuse precious beads. Ivie belongs to the palace and I, I am entrusting her into your palace. The words of his grandmother and indeed his own words were inspired and honored by heaven. And today, the full manifestation has come to pass. <laughs> to my beautiful, loving, and supportive wife, I hereby officially and formally bestow the honor upon you you shall no longer be referred to as Princess Ivie Emiko, but as Olori Atoashe III. And long may we both reign. As glorious as today is, our future is even more glorious 
because we have the blessing and backing of the Almighty God. And with this backing comes boundaries. Whatever knowledge in form of our centuries-old heritage or whatever resource in form of our abundant natural and mineral wealth that God has given us, we will neither boast in nor depend on them. Rather, we will depend on God himself who has given us these things. And it, is no, and it is in doing what God says to us, how we follow his instructions, that we will move mightily in dominion, power, and authority. And upon this revelation shall the bedrock and cornerstone of our reign. The earth belongs to God. This throne belongs to God. This king belongs to God. And so we boldly declare that the kingdom of Wari has become the kingdom of our Lord and of his Christ, and he shall reign forever and ever. I thank you all for coming to celebrate with us this day and wish you Godspeed as you return to your various destinations. God bless you, Wareland. God bless all. Prince, I don't know where to share with you away. Not Baranga, Moffat, Jerk, or no way. But God, let me do. Go to the Shakri de de Wokanao. Shakri de de Wokanao. Shakri de de Wokanao. I don't and I fed you, Kuruga. No go or Tere Uchan Chola and Miku. No John Wee. Shakri, let me tell you. Shakri, let them walk in Shakri, let them walk in our own. We'll fed you over there. We'll fed you Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, please let me stand on the existing protocol. I want to officially announce to a Shakiri nation, to the whole world, the title of our 21st Olu of Wari Kingdom. His title is Atu Washedi Todd. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment and share.